Hi everybody, uh, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing some labels, but yeah, a little different uh, from what I've been doing. And uh, this is um, actually inspired by junk journal Joy, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw her doing something some time ago. And yeah, so I, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I, it is still inspired by junk journal Joy. So I am going to be using some labels. Now I had the sticker paper and um, I had, but these are uh, glossy ones. So I had sticker paper that's glossy and I um, forgot that I had labels. So I wanted a, a, the labels I have are the tower labels and they are in a roll. And long story short, I cut these out myself. Okay. And because the other ones were too small, but then I found these in my cupboard. So these are laser labels, bright white laser labels. Mm -hmm. I forgot I have these. Okay, so I am going to be using these since I already cut them out, but that's another alternative over there. The other alternative that you can do is if you don't have a cutting machine, okay, is that you can um, take your sticker paper and draw lines on it. Sorry. You know, like lines, like like a pencil line here and a pencil line there, kind of a thing. Uh, uh, and those pencil lines will become your cutting lines. So you can then draw your pencil lines like here and here. And then I will use that as my cutting line so that I can get and 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 don't cut it out, but at least when you're doing the project, those pencil lines are going to guide you as to where your labels are going to be cut eventually i hope that makes sense okay so you can do that as well if you don't have a cutting machine or if you don't have labels you know the proper labels right so what else do we need uh we need some stamps so i am going to be using a few stamps uh like these yeah, yeah. Um, here we need some ink. Okay, I'm going to see how um, how great my stays on is. I haven't played with this for a long time, but it must must definitely be an archival ink. The reason is, in my case, it has to be archival because my labels are glossy. Okay, so I need that. Uh, then I was cleaning up my room and look at that. Look at all that pieces of paper that I have. So we're going to be using this pieces of paper. Um, so washi tape. Okay. So I didn't take out a lot of washi tape. There's one more I need to take out. Um, there's some more washi tape and some more washi tape and I got this piece of um, brown like it's it's a roll of brown paper or whatever so I want to play with this as well okay um, can have some labels little labels if you want to um, I'm gonna play with um, flowers today flowers that I cut out, fussy cut, and uh, some butterflies, okay, and some uh, more flowers here, okay, and leaves and stuff like that, that I used, and then you will need glue, and you will need, probably, if you want to ink up your edges, uh, I'm using walnut stain and, um, well, a sponge or something to be able to do that. Okay, so those are the, your supplies that you need. Now, what are we going to do to start with? So I'm going to try this here. Now, I'm so lazy to take out my big 
uh, <laughs> they have been blocked. So I am going to try to use this, which, my word, Anthony, you are lazy. But all we're going to do is do that. Oh, that's not working out pretty well. You know what? You don't need it like that. So I'm going to just do this. I am lazy. Yeah, I am. It's just that I don't craft often. So when I do, I want to craft quickly. Okay, so now I think I want mine to go in this direction. So we'll leave those two be like that. And then we'll just add a little bit more of the stem here. And then I'm just going to add the stamp. Yeah, so the stays on is working. It's all quite good. I've got the stays on for years and years and years. Yeah. And let's, yes. Now, do, excuse me, uh, I don't have wet wipes, but with stays on, you better get it out quickly. You better get your stays on out uh, as soon as you can. So just excuse me. Should have had this prepared and I don't know where my wet wipes are. So I'm going to have to just use water for now. Yeah. So just a tip. Stays on, you should get it off your... Uh, stamps as soon as possible. Now let's try and play with this one here. Uh, oh well, I don't know which side is the right, uh, well, top and the bottom. So it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, because, ta-da! Uh, well, I'm going to stamp it, but this one is the bottom. Now, if you have a big enough stamp, then yeah, use the big enough stamp, but I don't. And I'm okay with that too. Right, so these mine me. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to play around with the butterfly. Yeah, I think I need to take out my big stamp eventually, or stamping block eventually. So let's just play with the butterfly. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, and. Here, like that. Sure. Can you see how sticky stays on is? Can you see that? Yep. Okay, so we played with a butterfly now. And let's go in, maybe with this, to fill up the butterfly, to fill up the spaces. Okay. We'll use this to fill up the spaces. Like here and there. Maybe there. Now you can see that I am not getting the best of uh, uh, prints on or images, but I'm doing that on purpose. Right, so I'm done with that. And then let's go in with some little butterflies as well. Uh, mm, gosh, to think about that, really. Oh, so. Right, 
so we've done the butterflies here and there and then let's use some of this here as well so it's looking very mixed media at the moment all right cool i like that oh this is such a cute stamp it's the first time i'm playing around with it i like it a really cool effect yes and that's okay so we are done there now okay so we are finished with our stamps and let's just get them off the table so that they don't cause too much of a problem in terms of the glare okay, so we are done with that now what's the next part to do and even put our stains on away because we are done with it here and our stamping block right so the next part we're going to do is we're going to take some of our scraps and we're going to start using some of our scraps over here so let's say like these ones here Two pages here so I'm just gonna do that and then just add it here and here oh on this side doesn't really matter and uh, let's see what else we have this is nice uh, this can be added there like that kind of like that and that and uh, let's add this one to this butterfly here hope that you can see it hope that we are in frame here so one here like that maybe okay and do we have some music paper do we have music paper that's long enough I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna look. Okay. Maybe not. But I did find this. But then how's white on white? No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Seems that this box only has this kinds of stamps. I mean, this kind of stuff in it. So found some music paper here but they all really tiny this is okay so there's one here that might work uh, let's say we put it that way there and then this one maybe here like that and i don't know let's tear this one as well and let's put it there and then let's uh not put any more music paper or anything of that sort um let's try to use this now now i'm going to position these here like this and then what I'm going to do is I am going to go off camera and I am going to um, uh, stick them down uh, after I um, put some distress, gonna distress some of them. Okay, so this here is actually sticker paper. Meaning that if you put water on it, it's going to stick. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna put that one there, maybe. Uh, this one here. 
and I don't know this one over here and then what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to find some music paper as well and um, do that to finish it off here okay so I'm going to go and do that so what I'm going to do is I am just going to ink around them and then I'm going to stick them down and I'm going to come back to show you and then we'll take it from there the next part of the process great so I thought I would do two with you so you 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 know you still see the process of me doing the inking now I found a very uh, interesting book it's a dictionary and it had the stumped oh, what thumb slot page uh, thumb slots i don't know what will you call them uh but yeah so i thought that would make a very interesting um piece so i'm gonna add it there and there's that's from the same dictionary the color is beautiful just love the color so i am using it here as well now that we have done that and then here i just put you know whatever scraps are pulled out from these ones if they were too long or something then i just added it to that so we are done with that first part now which is our paper scraps now oopsie if we don't lose the lids and for the glue then we can do the second part of it now the second part of it is adding your washi to it so i just took out a bit of washi i should have actually taken out different colors but um i didn't but i've got a plan there is some washi on my table please excuse me for for just reaching over like that um but I guess we can use this washi as well as well as the washi we have over here so i'm very interested to try this washi i have tried it before and i liked it it's it's actually hessian the on on washi but just keep that to that side and then i just thought yeah you see with this one here sorry again you need to kind of uh, you need to kind of pull it out so I'm going to put this ones on the one where it's like a little bit on the white side and stuff like that okay so there's one there uh, probably will put more of it uh, gosh can I not find the um, the opening these it here these it here so maybe some of this here like that no rhyme or reason um, a bit of this I'll also put this on the white simply because um, don't want it on the browns okay um, this is a pretty one Let's try this one here. I like it. Mm. Cute flowers. There you go. And let's try these colors here. Let's try the pink. pink but they seem to be a bit thick so I might just tear it down like something like that uh oh <laughs> that wasn't successful okay no problem let's put it here for these ones here don't think you can see it okay so since that wasn't successful, we will um, add it here. That one we can add there. Uh, this one, 
we can add down now here like that <laughs> let's add some more of that we so i'm going to put it maybe here like this so while i'm trying to get this washi off i'm hoping that you're all having an awesome day and it is friday evening or not evening afternoon here in south africa so i am so so looking forward to the weekend oh, this is pretty um i plan to do nothing but craft oh well i mean you know the normal cooking and seeing to the family yes but uh, other than that i plan to do nothing and it is going to rain so i'm excited about that i'm excited about the fact it's going to rain so where do we not have one two three four five and six okay cool no problem no problem i like that pink uh maybe i'll put a darker pink as well Oh, and that one there, like, like that. Yeah, that looks nice. But that looks better. So it's the one with the lightish. Let's try this one here. It's got like a light, a, a whitish background. That seems to look better, actually. Let's try this one. Here. It doesn't really matter side there like that and then i also like that one so maybe i'll do that again here and maybe i'm going to do the blues at the bottom here because they're nice and thin there and there, like that and then that one I wanted to do a green on it this green here but also I think I'm gonna tear it down yeah nice Anthony can't even tear properly yeah yeah, so do leave me a comment to tell me what you're going to be doing this weekend. Uh, I know that I definitely want to craft this weekend. I had a busy weekend last week. Oh my God, I had such a busy weekend. So um, I'm hoping that I can go ahead and craft this weekend. So just let's get this washi out of the way. And then we are nearly done with this project because now what we're going to do is we're going to match up we are going to match up the washi with some sort of our stickers so like for example on that one don't know maybe i would put a a leaf on it there or let's see what else we can find that might match it a ticket but that ticket is too big um a sunflower there we go a leaf and a sunflower here like that maybe something like that i like that so i'm gonna put the leaf and the sunflower there so you can watch me decorate while i chat so this is a very simple project and i think it's going to look nice so it doesn't add too much of dimension to your um project i don't think it's going to add too much of dimension to your project but i think it's going to look pretty cool so uh 
and and it's ready made for you to use so they're kind of like ready made label clusters uh, to use and i think i like that so we're going to put that over there somewhere around there and then we're going to put this one over here like this yeah. so i released a video yesterday uh but uh, i actually normally send out notifications or send uh, i notify people that i have released a video but i didn't do that so i'm going to link that video to this one here and then you can actually see it so what would we want to put here do we want to put something like that thingy uh and i don't know a pumpkin and like a fall theme do we want to put fall yeah i like that i think i like that or do you think we should rather put but the red makes it pop so we'll go with the red let's go with the red okay the red and the pumpkin on that one so you can see there's nothing other than us putting in these um here and then let's see it's very much also what i have on my table uh kind of a thing i was working on my fall journal that's why you find this here and then in terms of the butterflies and the flowers they're always available on my table let's see if we've got any labels that we can put now i got a lot of labels but these are like the tiny ones the tiny tiny <coughs> too big uh oh look how small did i actually cut these my gosh i must have been insane but i did gosh they may be too small too No, <laughs> you can barely see that <laughs> this year. My oh, goodness gracious. Uh, uh, that is funny. I cut those. I must be having, I must have had a very good day if I cut those. Let's add that one there. <laughs> Uh, yeah because i really d i don't i don't have the patience obviously i must have been doing something else you know kind of to be able to say uh, i'm gonna cut those labels oh my greatness never <laughs> let's see nope sorry no, but I think I have something here. Oh no, guys, I do, but oh my greatness. Uh -huh. Now my desk is getting crowded. Yeah. So, we have some labels here that we can add to these things. Uh, is that already stuck? Can I add that to it? Yes, I can. They like words, so words and labels. So we can use that because these are terribly small. We'll see. We might use some of them. Not that we won't. Uh, but yeah. Gosh. Wonder what. I wonder what I was thinking when I printed that. Clearly, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I'm going to add that one there. Okay, so. But I'm going to decorate a few with you now. Because I think you get the idea. And then. I'm going to go and decorate the rest. And then show you the 
um, the finished version of it. Right, so let's 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 use some. Oh, this table is now messy. Messy, messy, messy. Okay. So if you can see my mess building up, yeah, a struggle is real. I'm just having some water. So what else can we do? Uh, butterfly. Let's do a pink butterfly because we've got pink there. And uh, let's do a green butterfly because we've got green there. Oh. And a blue butterfly since we've got blue. And then I'm wondering now. I think I want to do something like that over here as well. And I think I want to use, sorry if you can't see, maybe that pink over there. And yeah, so maybe I'll just do this in front of you. And then let's see for our flowers. So maybe a pink flower here, okay, like that, and then here, what about something like that, yeah, and here, um, Can I, yeah, I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna put that one there. And this one. Let's put this one. Here. No, that's too big. Okay, can't put that there. Uh, sorry, I don't know if you, I mean, even in frame there. No, too big. These are too big. So I can't use these. These are too big. Alright, so it's okay. It's fine. Uh, how would this look? This pretty one here. There, but it just blends in too much might work there okay with yeah so this is done so I might put that there and maybe add a butterfly there or this butterfly no that blends in too much that butterfly is fine Okay. And then for the bottom, uh, let's use that butterfly there. And we'll use another one of those butterflies there. There. And I think I want a flower. Oh, let's see. What did I do? All my butterflies are coming out. They're flying away. Fly away. Remember what was it? It's a children's movie. Fly away something. Well, I don't know. Uh, don't like that one. But I do like this one here with that. Yes, I do like that. So I'm going to put that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some labels. 
and I oh this one I think yeah mm -hmm. then we must make it a fall one it's waiting it's waiting to become a fall one and we will add a nice big pumpkin would that work oh no it's too big now I'm going to add this pumpkin here okay and then let's just since this recipe worked let's just do that there on that one okay and maybe something like that there yeah one day and one day something like that yeah we'll do that okay so that's what i'm going to do going to ink these up and i'm going to come back and all i'm going to add is some labels to it as well which will give me a chance to find some decent labels i, I would use this kind of a thing but these are ridiculously small oh my greatness i might use that i like that there kind of a thing but as for the rest oh santhony 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 what were you thinking but anyway <laughs> let's not go there let's find them and let's come back after they're all decorated i'll see you soon okay so i am back and i kind of decorated everything and i thought i'll show this to you now so they are looking pretty decent now so what started off as labels and uh, uh, just with some stamping on it, we've added some um, um, labels to it. We've added, oh, look at my hands. We've added some um, like little cutouts to it. And you can see that there's still some stuff on my desk over there. So I'm going to show you the show this to you just now. But I... Just give me a second. Okay, so sadly, I am still working on my autumn journal and I need to finish it because I need to get onto my Christmas journal from Monday onwards. So, um, what I wanted to show, yeah, show this to you is look. Can you see the yumminess of it all? Yep. I think they I think they came out so cute. Um, okay. So how are we going to use this? And that is why I thought I'm gonna get my autumn journal out. And let's say oh i've got stickers in here <laughs> that's nice um let's say i want to put something on this page here oh let's say let's see let's see maybe um yeah okay let's say i want to add some stenciling here and then I want to put one of these in there. So I think, I think I might want to put this in there. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to add it to my journal. And voila, look at that look how cute that looks on a journal page just like that and it looks so pretty and that's all you will need and then i would do some stenciling here some light stenciling <coughs> excuse me on that and that's my page done i love it i think that's going to really look nice on my journals so that's what we did today that's what we created today 
in i hope that you really enjoyed that um it it, it does take a long time i must admit and that is the reason why i took the process off camera uh, because it does take a long time because each little one you are decorating separately over here and you're finding elements to match it so the the actual decoration takes a long time so what what you can also do is that maybe you can just do the the the, the stamping and you know the, the the book pages or whatever the washi and then leave it and then as you want to use it then, then then you can actually go in decorate one and use it in your journals that would also be one of the things that i would recommend okay because in this way now i need to find journals that it can go into whereas if you just had it that way uh you can come in and tailor make it to the journal that you are going to be using so either way will will work it depends so for example i know that i want to do something tomorrow with pink in it okay so the pink is going to work for me and i would probably put these in my autumn journal so yeah it might work for me what i did but maybe not for everybody okay but anyway that's the project for today i do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up please leave a comment below as well. Uh, also, you do know that I am close to my 1,000 subscribers. So if you are not a subscriber as yet and um, you would like to see more content of this nature, uh, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also connect with me. I will leave my link tree below and I'll leave my email as well below. And... Um, do connect with me i probably will only answer emails on a weekend if or late at night so please do not get angry with me if you find an email coming from me later than expected either <laughs> yeah and um also um i just want to say that when i reach a thousand subscribers then uh, i am going to be doing a giveaway uh the giveaway will work according to the and uh, the comments that uh, people have been leaving this will be the third video that uh, people will be leaving comments on and the more times you do uh, you know you spread your comments across the different videos each comment will give get you an entry into it and then i will also verify through the comments whether you are a subscriber and i will put that in as well so, so i will put in comments from subscribers in and if you have a subscription that is private please understand that i won't be able to um uh, what's this word verify that i can only verify public subscriptions so just make sure that your settings there's a setting uh, i think that makes you a pro you know your subscriptions private or not okay so uh, that's it um do comment do like do give it a thought or do give it a thumbs up okay if you enjoyed this very easy you can see that for the most part there was lots of scraps involved in it and then just cutouts but they tiny little cutouts so um you know you can even use pages from magazines or pictures from magazines to be able to do this um your your labels you can make your own labels uh i mean this is like a typed word there these are also i mean yes it is uh, the tim holtz um uh, stamp but i mean you can even go and type in things like that or whatever the case may be okay so do take care have a fabulous weekend and hopefully i will see you tomorrow with another uh video and hopefully this time i'm going to bring you that um uh, I'm going to be doing like a folio, Christmas folio, uh, maybe Christmas or pink. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. But yes, anyway, on that note there, I will bring you the video where I am upcycling a, a chocolate box or wrapper or whatever. Okay, so do take care. Have lots of fun crafting this weekend. And for the South Africans out there, if it's raining where you live, which would probably be so, then enjoy your in.
in house time and in and i hope that you are crafting i plan to craft so let's see how far i get i want to finish my autumn journal take care everybody lots of love from me at sunny creates bye bye and don't forget have a blessed week ahead as well bye bye